Yo, what the frig is going on, you tactical mother humpers? I just got a badass personalized um, enhanced and upgrade to my slide. This is my Glock 43. You guys know how much uh, I've been following and the Glock 43 and shooting the Glock 43. And uh, if you've seen on YouTube, you, you see nothing but good reviews about it. It's actually a bigger success as far as reviews go than the Glock 42. Because in the beginning, the Glock 42 had some weird issues. Mine didn't have any, but I heard there was. The Glock 43 is like 99, 95% positive already, and it's a new design from Glock, which is no surprise to me. Um, I just got this Cerakote finish from Scorpion High Performance Coatings. Uh, these guys do a super high quality job on any of your firearms that you want to send to them. Uh, you're really going to be surprised at the price. I don't like talking about uh, prices on my videos. I only do that if I'm asked to. But I'd rather you go over there and look at their stuff and then let them give you a quote. It's better that way. But I, I guarantee you, you're going to be like, wow, really? That's it? Yeah. So, um... When I was working a double, well, I am working a double action. We got our, our Glocks in, and uh, we got a bunch of Nibex coating Glocks, and you guys know how much I like them. I just like the way they look, the two tone. And uh, I'm like, damn, man. I mean, I wish to, I mean, a Glock 43, I know it's eventually going to come in Nibex, but I, I don't want to wait. Christ, that could be in the next, not till next year or in another two years from now. Who knows when they're going to do it? So, um,. I called Scorpion High Performance Coatings, that's the name of their company, and they said they could do it, and they said they can make it look almost exactly like a Nibex coating. They didn't make it look almost exactly like it. This looks exactly like it. Now remember, this is Cerakote. Cerakote is like a hundred times more durable than Duracoat. Uh, Duracoat's more or less for the uh, the guy at home wants to work on his gun and, and uh, change the look of his gun. And the door coat, you know, does come off a little easier than the Cerakote. The Cerakote's more of a science factory finish. I mean, the process this goes through uh, is that way because they want to try to keep the finish on the gun as long as possible. Uh, you know, guns go through a lot of bullshit with the holsters in and out of the holsters, especially leather holsters. They're the worst. They're worse than the Kydex holsters. Actually, the Kydex holsters, if they're made correctly, barely even rub off rub off the finish on the slide but uh, them uh, leather holsters are brutal um, so that's where uh, this Cerakote comes in and it is extremely durable compared to any other coating out there and if you have a company that has a lot of experience doing it there's little tricks they do to make the finish even more durable than if one of us Cerakoted a gun and just followed a video and did it. There's these there are little things in there that experienced people have that makes the world a difference. And you know that's what you want to do. If you have a really nice gun and you want to get it done right, let the professionals do it. Let the guys do it that do it all the time and actually do it for a living. And they rely on that for their income for their families to do it because they're they're the, they're the guys that are fine tuned in there. Okay. So Scorpion uh, took my slide. Actually, I went over there and dropped it off, and uh, it wasn't too far away. So I just dropped it off, and a week later I picked it up, and uh, it was it was done, and I was super happy with it. I went in there and they showed me a bunch of. Uh, I see. Said, "What color do you want to do?" And I said, "Well, I want it, want it to look like a Nibex Glock." So it's kind of on the silver side. So he, gave, he showed me a keychain of samples of like 25 different shades of, of silver. Uh, or at least 10 different shades and I picked the one that I thought looked like the closest color and what's cool about it is when you pick out a sample on their keychain normally if you ever do that and then you get a paint it for some reason it don't look quite like the sample I mean this looks dead on dead on balls accurate just like the sample so that, that's another good thing there you go uh, they did a fantastic job inside and out let's make the gun safe Another thing I like about Cerakote, it has a very smooth uh, sandpaper texture to it. Not sandpaper, but like 
a thousand grit sandpaper like that. So it actually gives you more track traction on the firearm. Because when I do press checks, I always I kind of put my thumb on the front of the slide and just pull it back like a half an inch just for a press check. And with the normal coating that's on there, if your hands are sweaty, sometimes I'll slip and then I'll get pinched in here. It happens a lot. But with the Cerakote, it definitely gives you a little more tracking because it has a little traction tracking. It has a little more texture to it. Pretty cool. So this is uh, definitely safe. I'm going to show you the undercarriage of the slide. I made that up. Undercarriage for the slide. That's what I call it. What the hell are you supposed to call it? There it is. They they spray under over. They, they put it in the you know they put it in the ovens and all that stuff. I don't know the whole process. I just know you know it takes a while to do it because they need to make the finish durable. Period. Maybe if they don't mind, I can go up there with the camera and we and we can show you the process of their Cerakote system on how they do it. So there it is, the Glock 43 slide in a silver Nibex color coating. Okay, and uh, I'll keep you updated on uh, the wear and how tough it is, but it looks fantastic, that's for sure. Like it just like it came from Glock like that, like it came from whoever does the Nibex for Glocks. That's what it looks like. Perfect. Um, another thing you can do before you send your slide in to Scorpion. If you want to, if you can, uh, take the sights off, you know, and take the back plate out, take all the parts out, and it'll be a, a little bit cheaper for them to do it for you because it's less time they have to spend on the gun. If you don't know how to do it, don't worry about it. Don't do it. Okay? They'll take it out. They have a gunsmith and uh, on the premises, so they know how to do it right. So if you don't want to, if you're not familiar with taking gun slides apart, let them take it apart. If you are, then send your skeletonized gun slide in and all they have to do is do their thing and ship it back to you. I will put their Facebook link under the video. I will put their website link under the video. Right now the, the primary contact for them would be through their Facebook. Uh, the guy's name's Wayne. He's one of the owners. and uh, He's the guy I dealt with. And he, was, he was phenomenal. He was great. You know, he kept me posted, you know, told me when it was going to be done. Uh, as soon as it was done, called me right away and told me, you know, it's done. And uh, went over and picked it up on a Sunday night. What do you think of that? That's good customer service. Good customer service is more important than anything. It's more important than the, than the, than the Cerakote. It's, that's everything. And they definitely have that going for them to also. You know me, guys. I'm a whiny bitch. And if, uh, if, uh, if I get poor customer service, I let you know about it right away. And I ran about it because... There's no reason for that. But uh, these guys really took care of me, and I really appreciate what they did. I really appreciate their work. I mean, it's fantastic work. Looks 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 phenomenal. I don't know what else to tell you. So there it is. The Cerakote from Scorpion. High performance coatings. That is the whole name of the company. And I will put the links under there. Guys can click on the links, get some quotes, tell them what kind of guns you have. Say, I want to get this and this done to my firearm, and he'll send you a quote back and ship it to him. He'll ship it back to you. If you mention the Armory channel, uh, they might give you a little break on something. I don't know. I already talked to him. I don't know if it'll be on the shipping or maybe just a little discount on the uh, on the work. So, you know, he'll, he'll take care of that part, I'm sure. Okay? So just mention in my channel that, you know, this is where you've seen it. Helps me out, too. Okay? So, this is awesome. So I'll keep you guys updated on that, alright? I did some stippling on my uh, Glock 43. As you can see, I don't know if you can see it. Did the sides, did a little bit on the front strap there, under the trigger guard, and this side, this side. Came out pretty nice. There's mistakes, believe me, but it looks good enough for me. Okay? So, you know, my gun is, is enhanced and personalized. I love it. Uh, this is my gun now. It just doesn't look like every other Glock. You know, I like that. So. Whoops. Ow! Okay. Jeez, I haven't done that in a long time. Figures, every time I do a promotional video, something, something screws up to make me look like an idiot. Will I edit this out? Let me see. No, nope, not editing it out. Okay, 
Another thing I want to bring up is um, obviously the Cerakote is not too thick because when I rack the slide it feels very slippery, it feels very like it's moving very free, there's no friction, it feels wonderful. It feels like you know I didn't even get anything done to it. So don't worry about the Cerakote being too thick and your gun not running because it's rubbing on the rails, don't worry about that. They know what they're doing, they know how thick to put it on. They know how thick to put it on the outside, they know how thick to put it on, on the inside. I'm sure there's a difference because of that, I don't know, I'm just guessing, but it feels, uh, I haven't even lubed it, it feels wonderful, okay? So there's, there's, there's your other, uh, in case you're wondering about that. Alright guys, hope you liked the video. There's going to be a lot of videos uh, probably this, this past two weeks. I got through night sending me more flashlights, so you guys are going to win more flashlights. There hasn't been one in a while. And um, I'll keep you updated on the holsters. Uh, you know, I've been, uh, I've been making holsters and for local people, and I've been really busy. For me, because I'm not fast at it yet, three or four holsters a week is a lot. <laughs> That's a lot for me, because uh, they take long to make, and I'm trying to squeeze videos in, and I'm working at the gun shop. So right now, it's perfect until I get my speed up. When I get my speed up, and I think my holsters uh, uh, um, look the way I think they should look, um, I might start taking orders through my subscribers. But I need some time, all right? Because I'm going to need help. I'm, I'm not going to be able to do it by myself. There's, there's no way. Okay? All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, uh, Scorpion High Performance. To coatings, thank you for taking care of me and doing the slides so wonderfully and so quick. I really appreciate it, and uh, I'll talk to you guys soon.